so in this community medicine topic let us look at nutrition and health okay so basically they will ask you to plan a diet okay for a person okay in the diet what and all should be there so basically in a diet you should have okay this is will be diet you will have cereals pulses green leafy vegetables other vegetables roots and tubers milk fat oil ghee sugar and jaggery this much should be there how much should be there so basically consumption unit okay that is cu consumption unit one adult consumption unit so they are calling it as one adult consumption unit one cu as one dietary coefficient one dietary coefficient okay one dietary coefficient that will be 2400 kilo cal okay 2400 kilo cal this will be per day isn't it so this is the dietary coefficient it is defined as the energy requirement of an adult male sedentary worker so adult male who has sedentary work like you can say a doctor sedentary work right a male doctor so this is what 2400 kilo calories per day okay this is icmr recommendation for one consumption unit the following is the balanced diet so this is the balanced diet for it is the balanced diet for one consumption unit okay let us see what this is so before that first of all you should understand what cereals are what pulses are what green leafy vegetables are what other vegetables means all this right so let's first look at difference between cereals and pulses now cereals first look at cereals so cereals basically like rice right ragi wheat maize these are all um, staple diet they form okay those will be usually cereal cereals are usually staple diet basically cereal is um, grown like this you can see this photo here it is more part of the stalk the grass okay so that is where it comes from so that will become a cereal example will be rice wheat maize all of them okay so you can see some photos here rice wheat maize ragi all that okay now what are pulses pulses are basically they are from the legume family they'll be like this they'll be in the pods right so these are like legume families here you will have peas obviously you can see peas in the photo here you will have cow pea so many types of peas you will have moong right then what else are the very famous ones look at this soya bean all these okay so you should know these even peanuts that is groundnuts are also pulses like kidney beans are also pulses okay so basically let us take this photo and put here so what you mean by cereals you have understood rice wheat maize ragi jowar all that pulse when it comes to pulse so pulse we are going to put all these peas okay so so basically rice that is cereals any cereal daily recommendation is 460 gram pulses 40 gram okay green leafy vegetables green leafy vegetables means what spinach and all that right green leafy vegetables 40 gram okay this is for a male adult male sedentary worker remember so green leafy vegetables 40 then other vegetables other vegetables you'll give how much 60 gram so you can think of um, other vegetables like what beans and all beans and all are vegetables only right so those other vegetables we have decided now let's move on to roots and tuber roots will be what beetroot so we have decided on the roots and tubers as 50 g now coming to milk milk will be 150 g oil ghee fat 40 g and sugar and jaggery should be 30 g okay so how much milk milk 150 g okay 150 g of milk oil fat ghee will be 40 g okay sugar jaggery 30 g 
So is this clear? Green leafy vegetables, other vegetables, roots, tubers, all this you have understood. So you have to remember these values. Remember, almost everything is 40 only. Most, most of them are 40. Sugar is little less. Okay, sugar is less. Other vegetables is more than green leafy vegetables. Roots and tubers is 50. Milk is 150. Cereals 460 gram because these are the staple diet, right? So for a male sedentary worker, this is what he needs. But if he is a moderate worker, he will need 1.2 times of this. And if he is a heavy worker, 1.6 times of this. So coming to an adult female, a female will require, adult female who is a sedentary worker requires 0.8 of this, okay? If she is moderate worker, like a homemaker is a moderate worker, 0.9. Heavy worker 1.2. Okay, so there is a table for that also. So we can make that table here. So the dietary coefficient will be different. So what you saw here was dietary coefficient 1, right? 1 consumption unit. This is for whom? This is for adult male sedentary worker. Now let us look at what the dietary coefficient for others are. So here we go. So for a male sedentary worker, so for a male seden, sedentary worker, right, he needs 1, okay, 1 1.0 you can see. Okay, so sedentary worker is 1, then you have moderate worker, moderate worker will be 1.0. 2 heavy worker 1.6 directly there is no 1.4 here when it comes to female coming to sedentary worker this will be 0.8 okay sedentary worker okay sedentary worker 0.8 moderate worker moderate worker will be 0.9 and obviously heavy worker will require some more. So here it will be 1.2. Okay. Heavy worker female is same as moderate worker male. Okay. Now in pregnancy and lactation these values again will be different. Pregnancy and lactation the values will be different. Pregnancy it is 1.2. She is a heavy worker now. Okay. Lactation is the highest 1.6. Lactation is like a male heavy worker 1.6 okay then for children it is there for adolescents it is there if you want you can look at these values adolescents they are considering as uh, 12 to 21 here, years in this one it is so adolescents also have one dietary coefficient just like a male sedentary worker for children less than one year for less than one year they are saying it is 0.3 it's not written here wait so child less than one year 0.3 say 0.3. For 1 to 3 years, it's 0 0.4. 0 0.4. Yeah. And 4 to 5 years, it is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. How many years are you? 5 years. So, what should your dietary coefficient be? 0.5. Correct. So, 4 to 5 years, it's 0 0.5. So, after that, 6 to 7, uh, next year, it will become for you 0 0.6. What will it become next year for you? 0 0.6. Yeah. Okay. Thank you after so much. 0.6, I will become 0.7. Yes, after that you will become 0.7, then you will become 0.8, correct. Okay. So guys, uh, there are specific um, age also here, okay. So this much is enough for now. A lot of other information is there, like how, how much to increase uh, for pregnancy and all that. Basically here for pregnancy, cereals they will increase for pregnancy. Cereals they will increase uh, plus 35 gram. And pulses, they will increase plus 15 gram. Okay. Milk, they are giving extra 100 ml. Please note here, it is ml. 100 ml, they are saying. Sugar and jaggery, they will add 10 gram. This is per day, right? So, for pregnancy, overall, you should add 350 kilocalories per day. Okay. For lactation, they will add 
plus 600 kilo calories okay for the first six months then first six months this is first lactation zero to six months okay all these values you should know for the so solving then for lactation lactation from six months seven months to twelve months they will add they will add 520 kilo calorie okay so these values should be known because we have to solve the problems, right? So, there is protein requirement in pregnancy. So, the, apart from this, there is some protein requirement in pregnancy. First trimester, 1 gram a day you should increase. Second trimester, 7 gram a day. Third trimester, 23 gram a day. So, third trimester, lot of proteins required, okay? Lot of other uh, nutrition recommendations are there. Vitamin A, iron, folic acid, calcium, thiamine, riboflavin during pregnancy, during lactation. So, they should give iron folic acid. Definitely, you know about iron folic acid, etc. Right? In uh, pregnancy and lactation. Okay. What else you should know? Saturated fat should be less in a diet. It should be less than 10%, they are saying. Now, in uh, diet, carbohydrates should be 65%. Fats should be 20%. Okay, fats should be the second highest and proteins will be only 15%. Okay, so will this add up to 100? Yes, it's adding up to 100. 65% uh, carbohydrate guys. 65% of the diet should be carbohydrate. 20% will be fat. And 15% will be, should be protein. Okay, junk food should be less. Cola, ketchup, all these should be less. You should not consume more of refined products. Okay. So, basically salt should be less than 5 gram a day. So, what else? There is a lot to learn guys about uh, this. There is just way too much information. Male age also is there, adult mate age is there, adult female age is there, okay. So, their ideal height, ideal weight is there. So, guys, let us do one thing. In the next video, we will look at some problems based on this information and we will arrive at the solution, okay. Let's take a recap of what we have seen so far. We started off with nutrition. So, we want to understand uh, uh, first the basics about nutrition, then we'll start solving nutrition problems. So, we saw the difference between cereals and pulses. Then we saw in a balanced diet for a sedentary working adult male, one dietary coefficient or one consumption unit, 2400 kilocalories, okay, per day. Okay, this is called as one dietary coefficient, okay. So, here what will be there? Cereals should be 460, pulse 40, green leafy vegetables 40, oil, fat, ghee 40 grams. And other vegetables 60 gram, roots and tubers 50 gram, milk 150 gram, sugar jaggery 30 gram. This much you should know because this much is very essential. Nobody is going to give this information in the exam. This much you should have and you should go on calculating everything based on this. Okay. Then coming to the dietary coefficient, they will give you the question saying that there is a male who is a sedentary worker or they will give his job. He is a clerk or a bank worker or something. So, you can consider it as a sitting work. So, there can be a sedentary work you can say. And for how much will be dietary coefficient for such people? You will calculate and you will say what is lacking in the diet. How much is lacking? What exactly he has to add to his diet etc. We will come to the problems. Then female. Female there are many classification. Heavy, moderate worker, sedentary worker, pregnancy, lactation. Moderate worker will be a homemaker. Okay. Homemaker will become moderate worker. Adolescence also it is one only that is good for us. Then children you have a lot of skills at least remember 4 to 5 years 0.5 okay. So that's all for now in this video. Let us continue in the next video with the problems okay. Bye bye. One more thing to note here is the amount of calories that a carbohydrate will give etc. Okay. Like 
1 gram of carbohydrate will give 4 kilo calories. 1 gram of protein will give 4 kilo calorie again. 1 gram of fat gives 9 kilo calories. So, fats will give more calories. 1 gram of fat gives 9 kilo calorie and 1 gram of dietary fiber gives dietary fiber gives 2 kilo calorie. Okay. So, this much we have to know. Protein and carbohydrate will give 4 kilo calorie. Fat will give more. Dietary fiber will give little less. Okay. That's all for now. Bye.